So the first is oxytocin. Now you've probably heard of oxytocin. It's a hormone and a neuropeptide, and it's most commonly been linked to the mother-infant relationship. There's a, a bonding that seems to happen, and they found that when this particular hormone increases, that there's greater bonding, greater feelings of love, and that vice versa. Uh, when there are greater feelings of love and bonding, that then it pumps up the oxytocin. It inhibits our stress response. That's the beauty of this hormone. Um, at all levels of our central nervous system. So that if we're feeling anxious or stressed, when there's increased oxytocin, we begin to relax. It has a calming effect on behavior and it reduces blood pressure and heart rate. It increases a sense of contentment, belonging, safety, and general well-being. And they've also done a lot of studies now that have shown that um, if you give oxytocin to people, it will actually do that. So it's not just a matter of that it happens naturally, but you can uh, have them sniff it like cocaine, I guess. But, you know, and... It actually then, by nasal oxytocin, creates this sense of calm and uh, peacefulness. Well, the beauty of it is that touch does that naturally. Animal studies have shown that stimulating kinds of touch, like I was mentioning before, and here with the animals, it's like lots of licking and grooming behavior, increases the expression of oxytocin. And also, human studies have shown that with mothers and their infants, that stroking and kissing and skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is often called kangaroo care, that that also increases oxytocin levels. And then with adults, it's released by very simple things, such as stroking or hugging or holding, and then massage. Massage has a tremendous impact on increasing oxytocin levels.